What's up guys, Jake Slisman, Blue Collar Outdoors, and today we're going over another lightweight option, which just might be the best way to self-film or film turkey hunts. So stay tuned. All right guys, so we've used a lot of different options, filming hunts, filming turkey hunts, especially. Uh, we've had the Manfrotto Go, 190 Go, I should say. It's really heavy, a lot of birds have lived due to that slowing us down, getting it set up, etc. Not being able to make the moves we want to do as quick as we can. As you saw in the tripod video, we've also used the fourth arrow tripod I'm filming with currently here. But this right here is, in my eyes, the best way to self-film a turkey hunt, or if you ground hunt deer, this would be an awesome option. Or just in general, if you're doing a lot of run and gun, public land hunting, in Kentucky or anywhere like that, this fourth arrow monopod steak kit is absolutely perfect for that application. This sucker is extremely light. As you can see on this, it's the whole thing is gripped with this nice foam, which I kind of wish it wasn't so I could just dip it and camo it up. To complement this, the head I'm using in, on the tripod, the fourth arrow lightweight fluid head pop this off it fits right on here that way with the stake and the head we're under three pounds and with the camera we're a touch over so it's a really lightweight system this sucker right here i was going to take this to work and grind it sharp but this drives into the ground really easy with this system as i'll show you in a minute it also can be adjusted it just has these clasps so you just pop them and you can see here, you can see this is actually above my eyes. I'm 5'8", 5'9", on a good day. And that's fully extended. Would I film like this? No, I wouldn't because you can see how much swag is in there. Um, also I just don't trust having it that elevated, but this is max height. What is the most important, in my opinion, especially for turkey hunters, or ground hunters, is the lowest possible height, and that's what I'll show you here. That is the as low as it gets. We usually, when we stake this down, we try to get it so it's about eye level. So when we're filming, when we're filming, we put a quick camo ghillie suit we have cut over the camera and then we drape it down over whatever we're filming with whether it be the fourth arrow monopod spike kit or this fourth arrow setup i'm filming with now that way it covers not only the unit itself but the camera guy so it kind of blocks out his profile of silhouette so he can get away with moving the camera when them birds are in tight or the deer are working in whatever we're filming but this thing right here just being that light and that being able to just drive right into the ground and stay rock solid especially with the fourth arrow fluid head right there man i tell you this is like the ultimate running gun kit and in my eyes it's extremely hard to beat this because one it's lightweight two it's stable three it's really rigid it's easy to carry you have your camera on you just grip it like this put it over your shoulder you're not beating on your fluid head, your monopod, or your camera. The one thing that gets me kind of worried is this right here, how they did this. This tends to come loose on you, a field, so you got to watch that. I almost lost this on one hunt, but a simple fix is just put some Loctite on there, screw it in, lock it down, and you'll be fine. Another thing I noticed is this last lock kind of kind of has a lot of play to it but as i said i haven't used it all i've done is maybe get it up about right here just so when it's in the ground i'm filming like this it covers most of my profile that's been the length that we've had it extended to and honestly i don't see how or why maybe for cameras and taking photography you'd want it up higher so it's right on your eyes but as a hunter I mean, I've only used this top one, and it's been really rigid. 
So what I'm going to do is take the camera and the fluid head off that, put it on this, and then I'll zoom in on my deer target I got down here and just show kind of the footage you can get with this bad boy and show how sturdy it is. So hold on, stay tuned, got to swap them out and we'll be back. All right, so this is jabbed in the ground, the, the pedal to the top of the soil. This is in a loose soil setting. Now what we're going to do is have this look down at my target. Now keep in mind this is a loose soil setting. This is something that wouldn't be uncommon to find in the woods. So that's why I'm in the loose soil. Obviously in harder soil this spike drives in easy and it, it's going to hold better. But this is a very common soil. This is shaking the camera pretty good as you can see it holds itself up after. That deer target and turkey target is sitting at 58 yards from me right now. And as you can see, you can get dead still on it. If this was a hunt situation, say hawk or moose was taking a shot on either of these animals, I'd be able to film purely all the way zoomed in without, you know, shaky footage. And this is letting the camera sit without holding hands. You can see here that it holds dead true. So if this was a self-filming situation, I could take a shot at either animal as well. This thing is just rock solid. It's, it's, it's a really good unit. So once again, that's 58 yards right there. No hands on the unit, just letting it sit there and hold true. As you can see, it does more than enough. Zooming back out. Now panning with the unit, you can see it stays fairly level. Not really any shake. This is with hand on the monopod. This is without. You can see there's not really a difference. It pretty much just holds true. And you can you could zoom in without. This is just on the fluid head. Minimal shake, just outstanding. Great quality, very easy to film with. So as you can see, filming with this, you can have really crisp video. You can pan with both the hand on the unit or off just on the fluid head and it will hold its own. This steak is really good. I, I would recommend getting it in the ground to there, but I've had it as little as this and it's held up just fine. Uh, this sucker right here with the steak will run you 110. With the fluid head from 4th Arrow, you're at about, uh, I don't know, 220, 2, 210. It's a really good way to get into self-filming or get into a run and gun experience filming. This thing is going to be awesome in Kentucky next year and all the states we're going to turkey hunt. So as far as ground hunting, filming for hawk, this is going to be a lifesaver too because that boy likes to move during deer season. So, But guys, this is just a quick overlook of the 4th Arrow Monopod Steak Kit. I do believe this is one of the best ways to self-film your hunts. As long as you're not hunting on rocks, I mean, it, it's really hard to beat this. But guys, for a low price point, you can be in this fairly cheap. This is not a bad option to overlook. Like I said, guys, I want to help get some filming gear videos out there for you guys. Hopefully you guys can take them, learn from what I've wasted money on, invest your money wisely, build a YouTube channel, or just film great outdoors for your friends and family especially those who don't get to enjoy what we enjoy as hunters. It's not about killing, it's about the experience. And that's one of my favorite things to film for you guys, is just the experiences we get blessed every day to have. God, it's hard to beat it, guys. You guys know. But if you haven't yet, smash the like button for this little dagger. If you're new to Blue Collar Outdoors, as you might be, as we're taking a step outside of our comfort zone filming these filming gear videos, uh... We do a lot of no bullshit, just honest reviews, whether it's broadhead test, pattern test, sunglass review. You just don't really know what you're going to get on Blue Collar Outdoors. We love entertaining y'all, bringing you our hunts, the best tests we can provide. And guys, all I can say is subscribe, hit that notification bell. We won't let you down. We just like to mix it up, keep you guessing. And we got some fun videos coming, so just stay tuned for all of those that have been here. I hope this didn't bore you. I'm doing my best for all of those that wanted to see it.
But guys, I'm going to try to get some fishing in. I was hoping I could get this done in time to go fishing. We've been doing a lot for deer this weekend. I want to try to catch some fish with that Donald Trump top water. But guys, drop your comments below about this. And as always, this is Jake Sleesman, Blue Collar Outdoors. We'll catch you on the next one, guys. It's toasty out here today.